here's what I'll be using for this tutorial. So I will be using some chunky yarn. So this is Hamigo Chunky by Hubby. Uh, but you can use any yarn that you would like. And please note that all the materials are listed in the description. So please make sure to go check it out if you want to be uh, making a smaller size like this one with worsted weight yarn or even if you want to do an even bigger <laughs> um, baby ladybug so you can see all the materials I have listed in the description. I'm also going to be using a yarn needle, a stitch marker, some safety eyes, so these are 40 millimeter safety eyes, a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, but once again it depends on the yarn that you're using, a pair of scissors and some stuffing to stuff my baby ladybug. Okay, so let's start this baby ladybug. So you're going to use your black yarn and if you don't know how to make a magic ring, because we're going to start with one, you can follow that tutorial right here and you're going to make six single crochet stitches into that ring or that magic circle. Or if you don't want to learn it, you can just follow what I'm going to show right now for an easier way uh, to skip the magic ring basically. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. So go you're going to hold the yarn tail with one hand. You're going to wrap it around two fingers to make to make an X. Then you're going to turn your hand so you can see your nails. And you're going to insert your crochet hook underneath the first strand. You're going to grab the second strand and pull it up. And then you're going to remove your fingers and you're going to pull on both yarn tails to make your slip knot. So the goal here is to make sure that when you pull on your yarn tail, the loop on your hook is tighten up like so okay and now we're gonna chain two so to make a chain you're gonna yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through so this is two chains and I know it's really hard to see with black yarn um, but we're making a ladybug so <laughs> stick to it and just follow what I'm uh, doing and just remember that this is not a crochet course so if you don't know how to single crochet stitch how to increase or decrease please go check some tutorials and come back to this one so you can make it so we're going to work into the second chain from the hook and we're going to work our uh, six single crochet stitches so i'm going into the second chain so this is my first and this is my second i'm going to insert my hook and for this tutorial i'm going to yarn under this is just a personal preference you can uh, just yarn over like regular, but I'm going to show the yarn under. So yarn under is going to bring your yarn underneath the hook. You're going to pull it through for the first one. And then for the second one, when you have your two loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over like regular. But like I said, you can just uh, do the regular yarn over technique if you want to. Then I'm going to go back into the same chain and make another single crochet stitch. So now I am at two single crochet stitches and I want a total of six. Three, four, five, and six. And remember, if I'm going too fast or too slow for you, you can always change the speed of the video and the settings. Okay, and now it looks like this. I'm just going to hold my knot and I'm going to pull on the yarn tail to close the opening. Okay, so if you've made your magic ring, um, your first round should look like this as well. So you have six single crochet stitches into your ring. Now I'm going to work into the first stitch of my uh, round and I'm going to make increase in each stitch. So an increase is basically to make two single crochet stitches into the same stitch so I'm going into the first stitch if you don't know where your first stitch is and you're confused you can just count from the end so I'm going to count from the where my hook is one two three four five and six so I'm going to insert my hook right here and like I said I'm going to make an increase so this is the first stitch of my round I'm going to take a stitch marker and I'm going to place it here just to show you how to use one. If you don't have a stitch marker, you can use a piece of yarn, you can use a bobby pin, a knee ring even. So just anything that can identify your first stitch of that round. So 
So now we're on round two. And like I said, we're making increases in each stitch. So this is my first increase and I have made two single crochet stitches. Going into the next stitch, I'm gonna make another increase. So once again, it's two stitch and the same. Okay. And you should have a total of 12 stitches at the end of round two. And I have one more to make. Okay, so now we are at the end of round two and I have my 12 single crochet stitches around. I'm gonna remove my stitch marker and now I'm gonna work a regular single crochet stitch in the first stitch. I'm gonna place my marker. And in the next stitch, you wanna work an increase. So two single crochet stitches into that same stitch. So that's one and two. And I'm gonna repeat that around. So one single crochet stitch, one increase. One single crochet stitch, one increase. So to the next, I'm going to make one single crochet stitch, and then I'm going into the next stitch to make an increase. So this is two in the same. And I'm gonna meet you at the end of round three, and you should have a total of 18 stitches because you're making one single crochet stitch, one increase. Okay, so I'm at the end of round three and I'm finishing that round with an increase. And like I said, I have 18 stitches around. I'm gonna remove my stitch marker. And for the next two rounds, you're gonna work one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So you're gonna keep the same amount of stitches uh, for these two rounds, which is 18. So I'm just placing my stitch marker again. So I'm making one single crochet stitch in each stitch of that round. So this is round four and I should finish with 18 stitches again. So I'm just working one single crochet stitch in each stitch around. So keep working on that round and we're going to meet at the end of round four. Okay, so I am at the end of round four and it looks like this. So you want to make sure that your uh, right side is facing. So if your piece is looking like this and the tail is um, outside, then you just want to flip your piece. So it's more like a bowl with a noodle. So some people say that to um, figure it out. So it's just a bowl with a noodle inside. So you want to make sure that your yarn tail from the beginning is inside your piece. So this would be the right side of your stitches. And now for round five, we're just going to repeat the same as round four. So you're going to make one single crochet stitch in each stitch around and we're going to meet at the end of round five with still 18 stitches around. Okay, so I'm at the end of round five and my piece looks like this. So this is the head and as you can see, I didn't finish my last stitch. So if I show you what I did is so this is my last stitch here. I'm going to insert my hook yarn under or yarn over if you're doing it pull through so you have two loops on your hook and then you're gonna grab your red yarn because we're gonna change color to red. You can fold it like this and you can place it on, on the hook and then you pull through. Okay, so now we've changed color. I'm gonna remove this the stitch marker and just be careful not to pull on your hook right now because the red yarn is just gonna go out. So for the next round, we're gonna work into the back loops only. I'm just gonna make one stitch to show you um, with red yarn, because it's easier. So let's say that this is my stitch, so you always have that V shape right here. And this is a two loops of your stitch. But for the next round, I just want you to use the back loops only. So this is the front loop, this is the loop closer to you, and this is the back loop. Okay, so I'm just going to remove that. And like I said, we're going to use the back loop. So I'm going to be going into the back loop of my next stitch. And we're not going to single crochet stitch. We're going to slip stitch. So to make a slip stitch, you're going to yarn over, pull through the loop and through the loop on your hook. 
so through everything basically and then I'm gonna go into the next stitch into the back loop only yarn over pull through everything once again back loop yarn over pull through everything and now as you can see I didn't put my stitch marker back just because I know that this is the first stitch of my round because I changed color. At this point, you can uh, take off your crochet hook and we're going to tie our two ends together. So I'm going to cut my black yarn. Not too long, just long enough to make a knot. And like I said, I'm going to tie a knot with these two ends right here to secure them. Okay. I'm going to flip it back and I'll keep going now. So for round six, you just want to make one slip stitch in each back loop. Okay, I'm now at the end of round six and I have one more slip stitch to make. There we go. So my ladybug looks like this. So this is going to be the bottom of my ladybug just because we're going to see a little um, change of color right here. If I show you with my other one, it looks like this. So we're going to make sure that this uh, stays at the bottom. Now we're going to place the eyes. So this is a fun part. So you're going to need two safety eyes. I'll be using these colored one. But you can use any that you have. These ones, I found them on AliExpress. Okay, and we're going to place the eyes between rounds three and four. So this is round one. I know that it's really hard to see, but basically round one is where you made your um, magic circle or the chain two at the beginning. Or if you want to count from the end. So the last black round is the fifth round. And we want to insert them bet between rounds three and four. So this is five, four and three. So I'm just going to place a first eye like this and I just want to make sure that it's going to be pretty centered with the bottom of my ladybug so it looks good to me and I just want to have both eyes on both sides four five four three so I'm just going to place this one here to see how it looks like this one I think is a little too low, so I'm just going to go one stitch higher, like this, I think it's good, like this. Okay, so I'm going to secure them right now. Okay, so the eyes are secured now, and it looks like this, and we're going to be ready to work on row or round seven and once again we're gonna work in the back loops only but this time of the red slip stitches that we've just made and i'm gonna work a single crochet stitches and increases so you can just follow what i'm doing so i'm going into the next stitch next back loop i'm gonna work a single crochet stitch i'm gonna place my stitch marker then I'm going to go into the next stitch. I'm going to do a single crochet stitch. And again, so this is a total of three single crochet stitches. One, two, three. And then into the next back loop, I'm going to work an increase. So two single crochet stitches into the same loop. One, two. And we're going to do that into the next two stitches. So next loop increase and next loop increase then I'm gonna do six single crochet stitches so that's one two three four five and six and then I'm gonna work three increases into the next stitches so that's my first increase making two single crochet stitches together going into the next loop 
we do two single crochet stitches and then once more next loop two single crochet stitches and then we're going to finish with three single crochet stitches so one in each one two and three and you should have a total of 24 stitches in that round and now for rounds 8 to 11 you're going to work one single crochet stitch in each stitch around and you're going to use both loops this time so i'm going to do round eight so one single crochet stitch in each stitch around so i'm making one going to the next making one going to the next making one i'm going to meet you at the end of round eight just to show you what it looks like okay i am now at the end of round eight my piece looks like this okay and I want to do three more rounds like this so rounds 9 10 and 11 and then we're gonna meet at the end of round 11 I am at the end of round 11 my ladybug looks like this and now just before we move on I'm gonna go back to my black yarn because I want to make the two um, antennas at the top of it, its head so I'm going to grab my black yarn. I'm going to start by making a slip knot, just like we did at the beginning of the video. And I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to go into the second chain from the hook to make a slip stitch. So remember, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through everything, and then same into the next chain which is the last chain. So I'm making another slip stitch here. I'm gonna pull my hook a little bit. I'm gonna cut the yarn. Not so long, just enough so I can uh, make a knot. I'm gonna pull on that last chain and then pull on that beginning um, yarn tail. So this is one, I'm gonna make another one now and I'm gonna meet you when my second is done. Okay, my second is done. So now I have my two looking like this. And now we're going to uh, attach them to the head. So I'm going to take my ladybug. I'm going to take my crochet hook. And for this, I'm going to be uh, attaching them between rounds four and five. So remember, the eyes were between rounds three and four. So we're just going to go one round behind. And I know it's really hard to see, but I'm kind of skipping one um, single crochet stitch right above the eye. And then I'm going to find a hole between two stitches. And once again, between the last two rounds of black. And then I'm going to take one yarn tail. I'm going to place it on my hook, just like when we change color. And I'm going to pull it through. Okay. And then I'm going to go into the next hole. So I've just um, joined here and then, then I'm going to go into the next hole. I'm going to take the second piece of yarn and pull it through. I'm going to pull on both. And then just before I make my knots, I'm going to attach the second one just to make sure that it's going to look good. So same for the other side going to find my eye, going to skip one stitch, go into a hole between rounds four and five, pull through, and then going into the next hole, And it will looks like this. I just need to tie the knots. So I'm going to pull hard on the tail so my little slip knot from the beginning is not showing um, as much. So I just want to try and get it inside the head. Okay, and you see now it's in so we don't see the knot anymore. And now I'm going to tie my two yarn tails, one and two. I'm going to make two knots. So 
and I'm gonna repeat the same for the other one okay and now I'm just gonna embroider some cheeks you can skip to the next round if you don't want to embroider cheeks otherwise I'm just using some leftover pink uh, yarn and I'm gonna thread a needle and I'm gonna go from the inside of the ladybug going out and I'm gonna go right under the eye like this I'm gonna pull it and make sure that you leave a yarn tail inside because we're gonna make knots again and then I'm gonna go one round behind insert the needle and then pushing it out from the same stitch and then I'm gonna repeat that again so I'm going into the same and then this time I'm just gonna go inside the the head okay so this is the little cheek and then I'm gonna make two knots inside and I'm and I'm gonna repeat the same thing underneath the the other eye and now my ladybug has some cheeks and I'm gonna stuff it a little bit at this point mostly the head so I'm just adding some stuffing to the black part like this Okay, so now we're ready for round 12. For round 12, I'm gonna start by making a single crochet stitch. And then I'm gonna make another single crochet stitch. So this is two. And then into the next stitch, or actually using the next two stitches, we're gonna make a, de a decrease. So I'm using the invisible technique, invisible decrease technique. So I'm going into the front loop of the next stitch and then lowering my um, crochet hook and I'm going to pick up the next front loop. So it looks like this. I have my work, working loop here and my two front loops. I'm going to yarn under, pull through. So I have two loops. I'm going to yarn over, pull through. Okay, so this was one invisible decrease. Really important to pull on your working yarn every time you're making a decrease so before and after each decrease to make sure that there's no hole between your stitches now i'm going to repeat that sequence i'm going into the next stitch making one single crochet stitch then going into the next one single crochet stitch and using the next two stitches making one invisible decrease so using the front loop next front loop running under pulling through yarning over pulling through and pulling on my working yarn single crochet stitch single crochet stitch decrease and you want to repeat that around so you will end up with 18 stitches so we're going to meet at the stitch marker for the end of round 12 okay I'm at the end of round 12 and I'm going to finish with one invisible decrease front loop front loop Yarn under, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Okay, so I have 18 stitches around. And now we only have one more round to do, but before that, I want you to stuff your baby ladybug as much as you can. Okay, on to round 13 now. And for this round, please take your time because we're gonna work decreases in each stitch. And also, uh, you might be stuck with your stuffing a little bit. So just take your time and I'm gonna give you some tips to help you. So I'm removing my stitch marker and to avoid having stuffing into your stitches, just push on your stuffing to bring it down so it doesn't come up in your stitches. I'm gonna do my invisible decrease. I'm gonna place my stitch marker and for this round especially, you wanna make sure that your stitches are really tight. So I'm just pulling on my working yarn every time. And like I said, we're going to do decreases around. So I'm going into the next front loop, making a second decrease. And then I'm going to have a total of nine decreases for that last round. And one I once I have like two more to do, I'm going to stuff it more. So this is my fourth. Seven, and at this point I want to stuff it more so 
I'm finishing my round with my two invisible decreases that I had left. And this is my last one. Okay, I'm gonna remove my stitch marker. I'm gonna slip stitch into the next stitch. So slip stitch is insert your hook, yarn over, pull through everything. And I'm gonna cut my yarn leaving a short yarn tail, just enough to close the opening. And now I'm gonna show you how to close the opening. You're gonna use your crochet hook. And I'm going to insert my crochet hook in all of the next front loops. So I'm going from the inside going out. To, so this is where I've made my slip stitch. I'm going to go into the next. You can also do that with your yarn needle. So that's one. That's two. And I want to do that around. So do that in each stitch. And I'm going to meet you there. Okay, so now I'm ready to close the opening. I've, I've went it into each front loop. And I'm pulling on my yarn tail, like so. And for the next step, I'm going to be using my yarn needle just because I, found, I find it's easier for me. But you can also use your crochet hook. So I'm going under a few uh, little line like this that you see. It's just to secure my um, opening a little bit more. Okay, and now I don't see any opening left. And I'm going to hide my yarn tail, so I'm just going to go a few times inside the body to hide it. And then I'm going to cut the yarn after three or four times. And every time I'm going into back into the body, I'm always going back into the same stitch. There we go. Don't give up. We're almost done. Just need to make some embroidery and then our little ladybug will be done. Okay, and now for the last part of our baby ladybug, you're going to use a strand of black yarn. I'm going to insert my needle and... Yeah, thread it in your needle. So I'm going to go from the bottom of the ladybug and I'm going to go up and I'm going to push it out center with the eyes as much as I can. And still in the black part of the ladybug. Pull. If you have some stuffing showing like this, don't worry because we're going to leave a little tail here. So just Pull your strand, and once you have enough here, just um, pull this one down so the stuffing will go back in, like so. And now I just want to be making that middle line. So I'm going to insert my needle right into where we close the opening at the back and out where we start it. Like this. Pull. and you want to make sure that it's pretty tight so nobody can move that line so I'm pulling on both tails right here removing some stuffing and then I'm going to tie two knots and hide these yarn tails And now to make the little dots, you have two options. So if you want to give your little ladybug to someone or even if you want to use it for you, you can use it as a pin cushion. So you can use your sewing pins and just pin your ladybug so you have the little dots. Okay, so you have uh, the idea. It's really, really cute like this too. And if you want to give it to... Uh, a baby or if you just don't have any sewing pins or you don't want to do this idea I'm gonna show you how to make some French knots cut a long piece of black yarn like pretty long 
You're going to use your yarn needle. And I'm going to show you one or two, but you can do as many as you want. So I'm just going to insert my needle at the bottom of the ladybug and out uh, where I want. I'm <laughs> going to pull my needle. And I'm going to do the same trick so we don't see the stuffing. So bringing it in. Okay. And for a French nut, what you want to do is you're going to hold your needle close to the body, just like I'm doing, and you're going to wrap the yarn. So this is the long piece of yarn. I'm going to wrap it three times. So this is one, two, three, and then I'm going to insert some still holding that working yarn here. And I'm going to insert my um, needle, not right into the same hole, but next to it as close as possible. So I'm usually going uh, into a stitch. So like this one here, and then I'm going to pull it or push it out somewhere else. I'm still holding on to that strand and I'm going to push my needle and then pull on it. Very slowly, still holding on to that strand. Like this. And this is one French knot. I'm going to make another one right here. So same. Going to place my needle very close to the body. Going to rub it three times. I don't want any stuffing. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Still holding that strand. Going to go into a stitch really close and then out somewhere else. Still holding to that strand. I'm pushing it. And that's two French knots. Okay, so you do that as many times as you want. And then I'm going to meet you once I'm done with my little dots to show you how, well, basically you're just doing the same thing as we just made for that line. So I'm going to bring my two tails here, make two knots, and then hide the tails. But I'm going to show you that. So like I said, I'm making my two knots. And I'm going to hide the tails. There you go, your ladybug is done. I hope you like it. And you can always make it smaller or bigger, uh, changing your yarn weight and crochet hook. <laughs> So this was made with super bulky yarn, worsted weight yarn, and chunky yarn. So I hope you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe to see more tutorials like this. Uh, give it a like, uh, comment, and follow me on my social medias. Bye everyone!